As we turn our attention to this week's Yolitics podcast, a conversation that you might want to hear, talking with a North Texan who made history at first because of his faith. Jason Wheeler has a preview. He's only had several weeks to put a staff together, get settled into his legislative office in Austin, and try to find his way around the rest of the Capitol. Sometimes, you know, I'm not able to get to the places where I, because I, it's, it's a big building here. That's left little time for Representative Salman Bojani to respond to all the messages that have been piling up. I also heard from elected officials in Canada, uh, heard from, you know, some folks in Kenya as well. From all around the world. Probably 500 text messages on WhatsApp. <laughs> Uh, which is like very international. So people from Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, all the South Asian countries as well are really inspired. Last November, the Democrat won the traditionally Republican seat in a redrawn 92nd House District in Tarrant County. He drew international attention this month when he tweeted out his swearing in with his hand firmly on the Quran. Bojani and another newly elected representative from the Houston area are the first two Muslims elected to the Texas legislature. And he wants to define himself by that, but not just by that. I'm sure there'll be so many youth out there that will be looking at that. And I wanted to tweet about it and I wanted to put it on social media. And so that way I can encourage them, inspire them to do the great things. And they're working for our community. Like I don't want to be known as just the Muslim state representative. I'll work for every single religion, every single Texan in my district and beyond, and I'll work for everybody, not just a small community member. A naturalized U.S. citizen, originally from Pakistan, he became a Euless City Council member before he was elected state rep. He says on the campaign trail... There's a lot of Islamophobia out there. There have I been some ugly trail, moments. I, a few years ago where... Somebody pulled a gun as well when I was knocking on their door. So, Bojani was bracing for all kinds of reactions as he made Texas history as a Muslim representative. He's telling us about those reactions, and he's explaining why there's already a website in the works for Bojani for Congress. It's all in the latest episode of Yolitix. Snap a pic of the QR code to go straight to it, or find it wherever you get your podcasts. In Dallas, I'm Jason Wheeler.